Hey guys, welcome back to the React and Golang full stack project series. In today's video, our agenda is quite clear. We'll create all the constants that we require in this file uh, to work with so that at least some of the squiggly lines will go away. And we need the code uh, which runs on initial load up and the code that runs every time the page refreshes. So let's get started. The first thing are entries. entries and set entries and that's for that I'll be using use state and then I have uh, yeah so I'll be using I'll start starting it off as an empty state and for refresh data so set refresh data and refresh data I'll be using again use state, but I will set to false in the beginning. Then we have change entry, comma set change entry use state change will be false and id is 0 then we have change ingredient set change ingredient so these will help us to uh, work with with the changing of the entry when we want to update the entire entry this will help us when we want to change just the ingredient in uh, each entry so you can say use state change is false id is zero this needs to be encapsulated in these curly braces and then we'll have a constant for new in gradient name and set new in gradient name is equal to use state set as empty and then comes the most important one which we just need uh, used in the last video which was the adding new entry and set add new entry Then we have a new entry, set new entry, for that we'll start with dish which is uh, empty ingredients which is empty and calories zero. and fat zero and all of this will be encapsulated in these curly braces since it's an object so these are all the constants that we use as you can see a lot of these squiggly lines they have kind of gone away uh, now let's write some code for the initial load up so we'll say use effect and initial load up you get all the entries now we have not created the get all entries function we will do that then for refreshing we have refresh it as uh, false by default if but if it's true then you want to set refresh data to false and you want to get all entries if you don't set it to false then you won't be able to refresh it again right so if it's false and then it becomes uh, you make it true you can check here and then you know always get all the new entries 
now we have called get all new get all entries twice and i think so right now is the right time to uh, build the get all entries function so we'll come here and we'll say function get all entries again we'll give the url so let's say that url is equal to http local post 8000 slash entries and you use axios dot get url comma response type will be json then response the response that you get we'll check if there's just like we did earlier we'll check if the response uh, dot status is equal to 200 and we'll set entries and that's it that's our function okay guys so thanks a lot for watching and i'll end it with this uh, in this video at least and we'll take care of the other things in the next videos so thanks a lot for watching do subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video